Cars resting on rims was a common sight in the Roseway neighborhood Sunday morning. To my car, like with all the neighbors down our street, stabbed, slashed. Mike Hill's car is one of more than 50 targeted in a recent string of vandalism. That's my wife's work car. If they did it again tonight, she would, she'd have to wait a month before I could get another set of tires. A Portland police first responded Saturday morning to a vehicle with slashed tires on Northeast 72nd Avenue, only to find the damage was widespread, reaching cars parked several blocks away on Northeast 77th. Later, they found 20 more vandalized vehicles in the neighborhood west of Roseway Heights Middle School. We're in a war that nobody told us about. These are critical times, hard to deal with. What's Portland? What is up with Portland? Do you have any idea why someone would target this neighborhood? Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's horrible. It's like it's so senseless. Molly Ennis woke up Saturday to a threat of texts from neighbors saying their tires had also been slashed. So I was like, I'm going to go out and check my car. Thank God mine had been spared. I had just gotten new tires on it. But others aren't so lucky and now left with a large bill. My friend who had a truck and a car, um, their tires slashed, it was over $2,200. This photo of the alleged suspect is now circulating on social media. What was in his mind? That's the thing I would like to know. What was in his mind? Could we have helped him? On some of these cars with the tires slashed were handwritten notes threatening neighbors if they called the city. This leaving some concerned and ultimately confused. Yeah, people are having these notes left on their car and it sounds like, you know, haha, the cops aren't even going to do anything, even if you try to report it. They're not too threatened about it. The city of Portland needs to grapple with these things in a kind of an intelligent way rather than reactionary. Portland police are still investigating. They're asking the victims to file police reports. And within a few days, each victim will get documents to help with insurance claims. They're also asking for any video of the suspects. Yeah, I think people are feeling in the neighborhood are feeling pretty unsafe and pretty left out on our own. It's a shared discomfort, but one that's bringing unity to this corner of the city. All of these neighbors, when they found out what happened, they all came together. They all helped each other out. They all helped us get, get our tires fixed, tore our cars away. They all came to each other's aid. That was impressive. That's the Portland I know. Portland police say people should keep reporting what happened. They say it will help with future prosecutions since it takes a lot of evidence and documentation with vandalism cases like this where there are multiple victims. In Northeast Portland, Blair Best, KGW News.